Hello, thank you for watching Word From Wise Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode five. I call this one the Mystery Piss Bottle. <laughs> it's a good story, y'all. Watch this. So I'm driving line four. Like I told y'all in another episode, line four, we call it the foe. Because it's a F-O-E, okay? Because it's more your foe than your friend. Now that line four, four fessing is the two, two, so. But anyway, back then when I drove it, it was the four. I'm driving line four one night, and sometimes I hate driving at night because the bus inside is all illuminated, and it makes it hard to see the street, at, harder, harder to see the street at night. So anyway, every time I put my foot on the accelerator, I would hear this clinkle, 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 clinkle sound. And then when I put my foot on the brake, clinkle, 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 clinkle. And it, it, was, it was really getting annoying. And, and I was heading downtown, and the bus was starting to get crowded. I was heading downtown, and I was right near uh, Rose Quarter Transit Center. So anyhow, the bus it had like a big pack of people. But it was so quiet, you could hear a pin drop outside this mysterious noise. I don't know what it was. And so I'm driving along and I said, somebody, what is that? And everybody gets so quiet you can hear a pin drop. So I'm driving along. Mm -hmm. Clinkle, 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 clink. Mm -hmm. Clink, 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 clink. Mm -hmm. Clinkle, 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 clink. I'm like, what is that, somebody? And this lady goes, best driver. You need to pull the bus over and see for yourself. And so I said, okay. So I pulled the bus over, put my four-way flashes on. I'm like, what the fuck? I get out the, excuse me, because I was like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? And I get out the seatbelt and I go, look. And there's this bottle of orange juice. You know those, those uh, what is that? Is that a quart? A quart of orange juice? They're, they're uh, glass and they got like these grooves in them. These long grooves in them. They're about this tall. You know? It's filled with urine. <laughs> it's filled with piss instead of orange juice. I'm just going to keep it real. Uh, the urine, it's got piss in it. And uh, and it, it, if it would have crashed into the... It was, what, what was happening was the piss bottle was rolling across the floors as I was accelerating and hitting the brakes. And it was hitting the metal bars that are, the, that are bolted to the seats. So the, seat, the seats are bolted to the floor of the bus. And so the, 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 the bottle was hitting the, the bars. The metal bars and the seats. Oh, my nerves. So uh, then this lady snitched that was sitting back there in the back where they was. And I saw them when they got on and I knew they were drinking. I knew they were drinking because I, I, I saw the little bottles of alcohol. I saw him in, in, the, in the mirror. He had these, these little bottles of gin. It looked like gin, vodka, something clear. When I got back there, they was all over the floor back there, littered on the floor, and there was a garbage bag on the floor. He didn't even bother to get up and walk and put like put the bag, put it in the bag, and then sit it in the garbage can so that it would slide around in the garbage can up front. No, he just laid it on the floor all get him when he got done. And the lady saw him. She said, "Bus driver, I saw him pee in the bottle." And he said, "Bitch." You didn't see me pee in no bottle. Why you lying on me, bitch? And he got up, and I said, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the bus. And uh, he's like, you can't make me leave the bus. You taking her word on my word or why? Because she a white lady. You're going to take the white lady's word over the black man's word. Like, just because she white. Now, black. You said that because I'm black. And I said, sir, this has nothing to do with your black. I said, sir, this it's illegal to do what you did on the bus. You can't be pulling out your private parts in front of people on the bus. 
And I said, you didn't even bother to put it in the garbage can and have no stuff. I said, if you know if they had a bus that broke open, we would all have to evacuate the bus. You've made the bus a, 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 a rolling biohazard. So he argues with me and tries to back me down and get me all intimidated. You know, he gonna, he gonna get all thuggish and, 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 and get all in my face, spittle. I hate it when people get mad at me and then they get all in my face and they're spittle. I can feel spittle on my face. I hate that. So there's spittle on my face. He said, you can't put me off the bus. I said, sir, I'm going to call the police if you don't get off the bus. And so, but see, I always hate calling the police because calling the police is their last resort. I'd rather you get off the bus, I take your piss can and sit it down call them and tell them what happened and said there's a biohazard sitting at the bus stop. I have to keep it pushing, keep it rolling, okay? And we're not going to evacuate the bus because you can hold it and wait and be a gentleman and relieve yourself somewhere suitable to relieve yourself, not on the bus. You make the bus into a rolling hold a honey pot. Huh, which is not. Okay? The bus is not a rolling honey pot, people. Do you hear me? So I get off the bus. I have I, back then I used to smoke c cigars when I was smoking cigarettes. I was smoking cigars back then. So I had a, a, a cigar and I got off the bus and I and I and I said, sir, I'm just gonna smoke and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you give you time to get off the bus. I don't want to call the police because the police might take you to jail and make a bigger ordeal. I did. I gave him a day pass too. Yeah, I gave him a day pass. And I asked him, so you're gonna need to get yourself together. I mean, you know, no, I said you're gonna need to get on another bus. You're not, you're not you can't go any further on this bus made this bus a biohazard and you pull out your private parts in front of people on the bus and make people uncomfortable you don't have to leave this bus this, this is it. this is your stop so I let the people say man get off the bus I gotta get to work man get off the bus and he was sitting on the bus he said, I ain't going nowhere and that went on for a little while and then finally he got off the bus and, and then walked down the street and then I got off the bus and drove and you know <laughs> So that is the mystery piss bottle story. It's a mystery because I didn't know what it was. It kept going, clinkle, clinkle, clink. I'm clinkle, clinkle, clink. I'm like, what, what, what is that? And would nobody say nothing? Nobody would answer for the longest time. They just would be quiet and just, would, you know. But everybody had seen it. And there was a whole bunch of Mexican men in the background, in the back, the very, very, very back of the bus. It was like maybe eight or nine of a pack of men. And they, they were giggling. They was drunk. They was back there. They was, I think they was drinking something too. Because everybody was giggling and being quiet. But anyway, yes, that was the uh, Mystery Piss Bottle story. Thank you for watching uh, episode 5, Flowers in the Street Bus Stories. Got some more stories about the flowers in the street. The flowers in the street. Yeah. See you next time, y'all. And subscribe now if you haven't already, okay? And thank you. I right, Peace out. <laughs>